of video. Um, this one is um, just going to show uh, a few tools which is in this section here and if you click on it you can choose a spot healing brush, healing brush, patch tool and red eye tool. The, the first one I'm going to show is the red eye tool and as you can see um, with most pictures uh, sometimes um, some cameras can react differently uh, it, according to light and as you can see in a darker kind of situation um, it gives the eyes a red kind of glow um, sometimes you want to, well most of the time you want to get rid of this um, there's a tool specifically for this uh, all you do is just click on the eye click on the red bit and there it goes you've uh, got rid of the red eye from the picture um, basically it says it does what it says on the tin um, you know it gets rid of red eye and that's it um, do not use it for anything else uh, and but it's limited but it does its job um, okay so mo now moving on to patch tool um, the patch tool uh, is kind of uh, like the clone stamp tool um, if you know that uh, tool basically uh, you can sample an area and on this one it's a bit different from the others is that you can select in uh, select a whole sort of outline uh, it could be a really complicated outline so it could be better using the you know, uh, the patch tool and all you simply do is just move it along to the sample of color hair skin you want so maybe you want uh, you know you want this darker bit up here okay but there is a problem when you're using it on skin it's okay because it's still got the same sort of tone even if it's got spotty or it's a bit dark on one side it will still um, kind of uh, fit in nicely on skin uh, or on the same sort of material or clothing on hair or like so with a darker area and a lighter area is when you let go it tries to recalculate the um, the tone of that um, selection so it tries to get you know tries to make it uh, look better um, with the other colors so it changes it the problem with when it changes it as you can see it gets a lot blurrier and really you would rather do this yourself going over with the burn tool or the dodge tool or you know going around with the levels if you're just doing on that section um, so really if you're doing it on stuff like that do not use it at all okay but that's the um, patch tool, very good uh, little tool. The healing brush tool, again, it's sort of like the clone stamp tool, although I'm going to say now that the clone stamp tool is a lot better. Um, basically, this just um, takes a section like the healing stamp tool, um, but it gives a kind of different effect. So I'm just going to click here and say oh, I want to brush over here. And as you can see, with the little plus, um, it's taking that section so it's quite easy to navigate with the skin that you really need um, as you can see look, I'm getting the eye and what this will do is when you can um, when you let go it kind of changes it and it makes it blend in more with uh, the layer so of the color um, this can you know be used well as you can see here that eyebrow does look like it's connected but some parts it doesn't because it uses blur a lot and sometimes this can ruin the you know the sharpness of an image so um, I really wouldn't use this I would just if you want to smooth out skin stuff like that I'll, and other kind of adjustments I would use the uh, the clone stamp tool it's just a lot you know it's a lot better I reckon than the healing brush tool but it's still quite a good uh, tool. Okay, this is uh, an addition from the um, healing tool called the spot, heal spot healing tool and all this does basically again does what it says on the tin it just gets rid of spots. So you get a brush that's uh, 16 or just uh, a bit bigger than the spot or freckle and change the hardness to about 60. Yeah, I've got mine at 60. So what you do, simply just go on the spot and click. And as you can see, it's got rid of that spot. Go over here, spot, and it's got rid of. All this does is basically you click and it will get literally just around the edges of the brush that sample of colors and it will just put it into the area that you've um, chose. So it works quite well, but just only on spots so do not use it on any other thing
don't use it on um, anything apart from spots. Um, another kind of word of warning with this brush is that as it samples just around the brush that you're using, so the area that you're taking it from, if you're using it here, and as you can see there's a line here which is a hair, and a hair over here hopefully that you can see, these two little strands of hair. So if I take away this spot, sometime you will get the line as you can see on that, I've got the line there. Uh, so you've got to be really careful where you're you know, um, taking away the spot, but if it's in kind of like a a good area, kind of like that one, just click and it will do it really well. So that's the um, spot healing tool, um, that's all these um, tools, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, tutorial, uh, comment, rate, subscribe and um, check out my other videos if you haven't and see you next time.